by John Day. What a courageous young man he is. This is a big play of the ball game. They line up there early in the game. I actually have a chance to go to go to take the lead, and we block a field goal, get the ball in good field position. The offense takes it down the score. Here's Two. Stanley Jackson at quarterback. Nice pocket there, throw, Coach. Throw back his second read, got the ball to D. Miller. D had an outstanding day catching the football today, number 15 out of Springfield. But you had to punt the football, but your sack total increases by one right here. The defensive line's putting a little pressure on him. That's a good, uh, that's Matt LeVar, number 48. Good coverage in the secondary also. Made the quarterback pull the ball down. All right, Coach. So Pepe always runs hard, but it seems like he had some extra pop in his step. This... Uh, Pepe, Pepe did a nice job. We got stopped on fourth down play early. A little bit disappointing, but Pepe, uh, Pepe really had a good day running the football. Watch Here's the DB. The... Tries to wrap up right here. Yeah. <laughs> good, good job making, uh, making number eight there miss a tackle. 25 yards and two carries uh, for Pepe Pearson. Next play, Stan threads the needle. Watch this. David Boston. Double coverage. The post route right in between. At first, we thought there was interference. David did a great job. Didn't catch many passes, but did have two touchdowns reception. What a great year David Boston's having for Third and 12, and as Provet, not a bad receiver in his own right. Van Ness is a fine football player. Great work ethic. Uh, Chuck Stobart, the wide receiver coach, has done a good job with all those guys, particularly, I think, a young receiver like Van Ness. All right, playing for that Illibuck. Uh, played 15 minutes, 7 0 Ohio State. Now the two schools. All right, third down, nice use of the fullback here. Where was everybody? Like well, yeah, open. this is a little fullback delay. They're playing as man coverage, but they forgot to cover the fullback. Uh, Matt Keller, number 23, loves to play the game of football. Out of Moeller High School, Cincinnati. All right, that sets up Stan's second strike. This time, Steve Wisniewski. Steve uh, tied in. Again, this is a second second read. A good deal. I thought Stan did a good job of finding his secondary receiver. That was supposed to be a slant back into to D. Miller. He goes to Steve Wisniewski, or tight end, number 84. Behind a pick. This is the second best thing for a corner, huh? Pop. Uh, good <laughs> hit. Uh, Mid plumber. What an outstanding game. Later on, you're going to see him make a big interception. That's probably the finest ball game he's played, number 19. From one corner to the other, here's your All-American pick, huh? Oh, uh, what a great year he's having. What a great year the little man's having for us. Number 11. Tough football player. Got him a sack, got him an interception. All right, Antoine Winfield, two plays later. Joe lays it out beautifully. Watch this throw. Joe Germain. This is what we call a post corner. Put the ball right on the money. Good pressure. Again, that's D. Miller, number 15. Miller doesn't drop too many, does he? He doesn't, he doesn't drop too many. Have an outstanding year for us. All so. right, then Keller this time on the ground for 15 more. Again, a little delayed draw. Number 23 goes north and south. Gets up, get in the huddle, get ready to, get ready to play another play. <laughs> Fourth down, 40 yarder sales right. Uh, this, 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 again, this really bothers me. We've got to make it. Nobody spends more time on field goals and extra points, that kind of stuff, the kicking game than the Buckeyes. All right, Jim Bell, he's come a long, long way. Jimmy nice Bell, job chasing number, that Hulkster. Number 95 out of Youngstown. Outstanding job, Jimmy. Really proud of Jimmy Bell. He's worked as hard as anybody on this football team. And more of the silver bullets at Damon Moore on the safety blitz. Comes Damon. What's the big hit? Bam. Got the ball. Good turnover. Our defense has done a great job. Jerry Rosinski, number 35, having a good year for us. Outside linebacker from Dayton. He, uh, uh, recovers a fumble. Coach, here's some nice video right here. Not a bad pass either. Oh, <laughs> look at what's his throw. Right on the money. I thought he was going to get in the end zone. Did he put it in the end zone? Got the ball on about the one-yard line. We get a touchdown here on, out of this particular drive. Joe did a nice job running the clock. Pepe put the ball in his own. Good blocking by the left side of the offensive line right there. All right, 21 0, Ohio State on top. Now, here's something we don't see too often since you've arrived. Oh, this is awful. This is awful. I, 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 that, that's probably the worst thing that happened to us. We spent a lot of time on punt protection. I've told our squad after the game, you better get ready. Michigan will try to block a punt against us. All right, this isn't too awful, though. Watch this. Mid plumber. <laughs> ball is, is underthrown. Andy Katzenmore gets a great block. Levels, I don't know if we can see it on this replay or not, but Andy did a great job. Well, that's, that's a touchdown again. Right before halftime, put us up at uh, 28 to nothing at half. All right. You know, it's an amazing thing. That's the fourth time in a row the Buckeyes have scored with less than a minute to go in the half. And that's the seventh time this season uh, to make it uh, 28 to nothing. The set plan as far as uh, when you're going to put in Joe and Stan, and Stan certainly played well. Did you go with him a little bit longer the first half out of loyalty because he's a senior? Uh, he got a lot more snaps. At one time, I think uh, I think uh, he'd had about 30-something snaps and. Uh, Joe only had about 10, I believe it was. So we put Joe back in, got him back in the, in the third quarter a little bit more than we normally would. Stanley picks up 12, two plays later. Pepe uh, leaves the uh, Illinois safety looking for a hold. Great him. blocking and a great move by Pepe. We'll feature that play a little bit later on, but that's an outstanding open field run out there by number 29. All right, Pepe uh, cracks the century mark, uh, and Michael Wiley gets some room for eight. Coming up right here, Coach. Michael Wiley. We put Pepe and, and Stan back in the ballgame there for one play, let the crowd acknowledge uh, you know, what a great job those guys have done. Michael Wiley is going to have a great, uh, going to, he's going to have to carry the load for us next year. He and Derek Combs. And Sean Penny, I know you like this guy. Nicky Goins, Sean Penny. We've got some outstanding young football players. Joe Montgomery. Joe probably didn't carry the ball as much today as we had hoped for, but he's going to be a good football player. All right, D. Miller does a super job of coming back and 
getting this football. Come back and the ball was underthrown a little bit. Uh, D, D caught everything, was even thrown, thrown close to him in the ball game. All right, Boston, you mentioned in the first Watch half, this. didn't get his six catches, That's but he scored twice. That's a fastball right there. Number 33 didn't have a chance. A little quick slant. Joe put the ball right on the money. Let's take another look at it, Coach. Good throw. Real quick, got the ball to him before uh, before the corner had a chance to close it, close a gap. All right, uh, for Illinois, Robert Holcomb has to, well, he must be uh, enduring football. a long year. He's a solid player. Outstanding football player. Can't say enough about the great uh, year he's had, number 35. Probably the most consistent back in this league. Yeah, playing on a very poor football team, watch him run. First back in Illinois history to have back-to-back-to-back 1,000-yard seasons. Now, third and three, Holcomb does a nice job here put chasing the, down. Put the number one defense back on the field. We're obviously we're trying to get a shutout. Fred Puggies in the defense very proud of the stats we've had, we have on the defensive side of the ball. And that's a good job. Jerry Rosinski slows him up. Who's that making a tackle? Andy Katz somewhere, but number 45. Andy just Andy and Rob Murphy this week uh, got picked on the first team All-American. All right, 41 zip after three. Now here's a weird play, Coach. Jermaine fumbles. It's close to a forward pass. Look, right there. Uh, I think the arm was going. Uh, didn't have possession of the football. Didn't didn't didn't. You got to put the ball away like that. Anytime we we've got a lot of young football players in there now. The loud penetration. Quarterback's got to protect the ball. All right, Hookstra lays it up for grabs. Willis, whose dad played for Ohio State, comes up with it. Yeah, again, we got to come back to the ball. Get a little more pressure on the quarterback. We're giving up some cheap yardage. Fourth down play. Good pressure up the middle here. Right? Get after him, Niall Diggs. Good good hit right there. And of course the ball's incomplete, and the offense takes over. All right, uh, Derek Combs, Combs out of Grove City. Nice second effort, plus good, nine. Good block there by Nicky Goins, number 37, our fullback. Derek Combs, number 43, player of the year in Ohio high school football last year. And speaking of Nicky Goins, 11 more right here. Nicky, uh, probably a little better ball carrier. We'll probably move him back to running back or maybe even in, in, the, in the secondary next, uh, you know, next spring. All right, talk about close calls. Garcia's pass to Griffin. I thought Skips. he had this. I thought he had this. I was trying to convince the okay. official that he made the catch. I think That's the official, official probably made a good call right there. Usually, they don't ever change their mind. Right <laughs> All right, you mentioned number 32. Here's Diggs again getting more and more playing time as the season Niall progresses. Diggs got him another sack. Watch him come off the corner. Again, he's going to be an outstanding football player. How about right. the Neutron Man All right, right there? Right. Good way to, good, good way to watch this play. All right, Just gave him their only touchdown. Get out. Oh, I thought he was down. He was not down. That's a good play by Illinois defense. That's their touchdown. That's Stargell right there. He's from the Youngstown area. Got him a cheap touchdown. All right, there's the final score, though. And 41 to